Uh, time now is 6.46. I'm going to talk about uh, house building now. Uh, Steph's got details of some figures out this morning. Interesting, this. Yes, it's Britain's second biggest house builder. Uh, Persimmon is going to be reporting <coughs> just after 7 this afternoon, uh, this morning. So, uh, not this afternoon. What am I on? Uh, it's, <laughs> it's a long day, isn't it? Uh, but it's interesting about how they've been making their money. So, let me tell you a, a little bit about that. Morning, everyone. Yeah, a lot of the money they've been making, about half, has come from something called Help to Buy. Now, this is a government scheme, some of you might have used it, that lends first-time buyers money to help get the deposit for a house. So let me explain how it works with, with an example of a house. So say a house costs £200,000. You put up a 5% deposit, that's about £10,000. Then the government provides a loan of 20%, so £40,000, with no interest to be paid in the first five years. Then, of course, you get the remaining 75% of the house, uh, £150,000, from a commercial lender, as you would normally with a mortgage. So this has been uh, quite a successful scheme and made a big difference to companies like Persimmon. Well, let's talk to Leigh Calliff, who is a senior analyst at Hargreaves Lansdowne, keeps across lots of big companies and, and how they're doing. So, Lip, this is a lot to do with how popular Help to Buy has been, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, as you just explained, it's a pretty attractive deal. It's been very popular. If you look at the figures, around 40% of transactions in the housing market last year were supported by Help to Buy. Around 180,000 people have used it since it was launched in, in 2013. But the big question about Help to Buy is, has it just pushed prices up and actually just moved the goalposts even further away for a lot of people trying to get on the housing ladder? And what are your thoughts on that? Well, I think we, we need to see some analysis from, from the government on that, really. That's one of the big questions that I think that they have to answer about how well the scheme is targeted. The other is how many of those people would have been able to afford houses without the Help to Buy scheme funding them. Yeah, and if we look at a company like Persimmon, you know, they're expecting to make over a billion pounds worth of profits when they report shortly. How much of it is coming from Help to Buy? Uh, quite a lot. We can't put an exact number on it, but if you look at Persimmon's results, then uh, in the last year, around half of its transactions were funded by Help to Buy. So it's been really, really helpful. There are other tailwinds as well. So you've got low interest rates, that means low mortgages, and also low levels of unemployment. And as we know, the UK housing market has a lot of demand. So all of that has helped build Persimmon's profits as well. And is it the same for the other house builders as well then? Yeah, absolutely. So Persimmon's coming out um, this week. It's, it's been in the focus a lot be because of there was a big row over executive pay last year. It actually yeah. lost its CEO, if, if you remember. Um, but actually, yes, all the house builders have been in, in, in that sweet spot. So they've really been in the right place at the right time. There's been some rumours that uh, house builders like Persimmon won't be eligible to use the help to buy scheme anymore. Do, what do you think of those rumours? Um, well, this, this is something that's leaked out to the press uh, from a government source. Uh, it looks to me like the government is just putting a shot ac across the bows of the house builders and saying, actually, you know, if you're going to be part of this scheme, we want to make sure that, you know, you do the right thing in terms of executive pay and you also do the, the, right, the right things in terms of the quality of the houses that you're building as well. Um, it seems unlikely to me that they'd want to exclude some, uh, a company like Persimmon because that builds a huge number of houses and ultimately the government wants to increase the number of houses uh, that we have in this country. So what do you think is going to happen next with Help to Buy? Uh, well, we know that it's going to run until 2023, um, so we've got a point in 2021 where it's no longer going to be eligible for everyone, it's just going to be first-time buyers. Then we know it's going to run until 2023, at which point the government is saying that it's going to, to come to a close. So that's how things stand at the moment. Now, we could get an announcement in between now and then where it's extended further, but at the moment, that's what the market is expecting. Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, good to talk to you. And those results will be out just after 7, won't they? Correct. This morning, not this afternoon. <laughs> and I'll have those for you shortly. It could even be this evening, couldn't it? Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> we know when it is. Thank you.